I can't think of anything to do for this. So, random dance sequence. Today, Mike talks about how interacting with YouTubers actually helps your channel grow. Because don't you want more viewers? Everybody does. And then we find out who the three winners are in the $100,000 sponsorship powered by Freedom. I'm your host, Tiffany, and you're watching Impulse. What is up, Freedom? So last week we discussed other ways to network and collaborate with other YouTubers. It's no doubt that if you're a YouTuber, you want more viewers. Even if you don't care about numbers, I guarantee it, you still want people to share your videos with. It makes YouTubing so much more fun when you have a community to interact and share with. Now there is a difference between a viewer that's a viewer and a viewer that's a friend. Friends are reliable. They will always be there to support you and they'll always have your back. Now I'm not saying go to all your friends you went to school with and make them watch your videos. What I'm saying is use YouTube to find new friends, engage, and interact. The viewers that I find most supportive are the YouTubers that I support as well. Now obviously you can't go subscribe and watch every single video on YouTube, but if you go and actually find people that are in your similar niche, watch their videos, comment, and support them, chances are when they find you are a YouTuber, they're gonna support you as well. So over the past three months, our channel has doubled in size. The nine months before that that we were running the channel, we we're doing everything by ourselves. However, the past three months, we started engaging with local YouTubers, working with them, sharing our videos, engaging, supporting one another, and helping grow together. But if you work with five or even 10 people, each person is gonna grow in their own direction, and it's gonna circle back to each one of you and help each one of you grow even faster. So work together, make friends, and grow your channel together, because fun things aren't meant to be fun alone. In most situations, fun things are more fun when you have more people to have fun with. When we come back, we'll be transitioning to the viewer segment of the show, but first we're gonna go to Tiffany who's gonna be giving away some free goodies. We all want more viewers. I need my own channel. Hmm. And now, in no particular order, let's announce the two runners up in the $100,000 sponsorship picked by Heartbeat Chrome. And as always, you get to choose from these lovely prizes brought to you by our partners with Freedom. And if you wanna learn more about this crazy $100,000 sponsorship, click that little yellow star button thingy up here for more information. And now I'm gonna peel Rick away from his own self-promotion to announce your prizes. Hey, Rick. Our first runner up is Zoo231. Zoo highly advises to use external websites in order to grow your viewership organically. He showed proof that by using Minecraft forms like Project XCraft and Craftcadia, he saw an immediate increase in the first three days. Check out his analytic spike as soon as he posted his video on those Minecraft forums. He also feels that Surgeon Simulator is an annoying game, but could have some entertainment value as a rage quit series. Our next runner up is the Pixel Cats. Pixel Cat strongly believes that by being original instead of copying other YouTubers will generate more views. He created a Minecraft map called Treasure Island which generated 160 views unlike his Hunger Games video which only has 28 views. The reason for this is because the Hunger Games series on YouTube is already saturated in the Minecraft community and people would definitely flock to any custom created map since it's 100% original. He also likes the new rules applied on Impulse and would give it a rating of 8.5 out of 10. Congratulations, Freedom Partners, and remember you are still eligible to win first prize in a future episode of Impulse. So keep with it. And now back to Mike, who will be answering one of your questions. And you guys better be asking him questions. He's smart and stuff. Why, thank you, Tiffany. So this week's question comes from Plasma Plays. He asks, is there a good cost-effective alternative to Photoshop for thumbnails? Thank you for your question, Plasma Plays. To answer your question, yes, there are good cost-effective alternatives to Photoshop. But anyways, guys, that's it for me today. If you want to have your comment featured in the next... Yeah, I guess I can. You can get a really snazzy program that's similar to Photoshop and has all the same tools called the GIMP. And it's very cost-effective. Free, to be exact. It does a lot of what Photoshop does and it actually gives you the option to make those much-needed transparent PNG files which you can use in pretty much every situation. Has the eraser tools where you can erase the background, make transparent layers, and all that nice little jazz. I actually used GIMP for a couple years before I got my first copy of Photoshop, and I'd recommend it to anyone who's just starting out and doesn't have any money. Now it is also worth noting that Photoshop does have student discounts, so if you're a student, 
use that and work the internet for all its money. So a lot of the different programs out there that we use do have student discounts and you can get a nice percentage off if you're simply a student. But anyways guys, now that is all for me today. If you want to have your comment featured in the next episode and a chance for me to answer it, leave a comment down below and I will do my best to answer it in the next episode. And now back to Tiffany for that moment in time that you've all been waiting for. Thanks, Mike. And remember to leave a question in the comments below for a chance to have Mike answer it in the next episode. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, let's see who's going to win $250 in grand prizes. They're grand. And as always, you get to choose from these lovely products brought to you by our partners of Freedom. And now back to Rick, who loves this part of the show because he gets to throw around digital confetti. I think it's the only part of the kids. And today's winner is... Gaming with Fastro. He's proven to the Freedom family that knowing your audience helps build immediate viewership growth. He realized that every time he created a video about Cooncraft factions, his viewership was extremely higher than his other Minecraft videos. This has caused his channel's viewership to grow 29% organically in the last seven days. Congratulations, Gaming with Vastro! If you starred in a 1980s romantic dance movie, nobody would put you in a corner. Congratulations, Freedom Partner, on a job well done. Remember, guys, to share your knowledge, discuss today's topic, and interact with other Freedom Partners in the comments below. And you, too, could be rewarded for helping the community grow together like a family. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Impulse, and tomorrow, Brittany is back to spread some holiday cheer. Woo! Cheer! Until next time, I'm your host, Tiffany, and we've been recording for 15 minutes, and you're only going to see a minute of it. Shop. I bought some Idaho potatoes in my grocery stop And then I ate them up a little by the salad bar I have to chew it in my garden to get on the ground I should have leaves, but then I bought some blue tomatoes I used my shopper card, it wasn't very hard I have to exit then, because I have the bends I think they used expired meat and now we need to clean up on aisle 3 And don't you touch my hot potatoes hot potatoes your secrets if you really look at yourself you will be speechless what happened to being doctors and teachers what happened to being your brother's keeper nowadays kids more worried